Guild and also in the university alliances. You know, we're talking about research strong universities. Uh, so in CIVIS, we have uh, several hubs uh, that uh, address relevant issues like climate or health or societal issues and link that to the design of the mobilities. I think, you know, and maybe this is taking it a little bit uh, a step too soon because it's a point we're coming to, but I guess we need to explore that uh, uh, deeper, is no matter what the design of the mobility is, I think uh, we, it, it should link to previous experiences. I mean, I, I, Jan, you know that I'm uh, very much a fan of uh, John Dewey, and I still think that he was very right when he said, that experience has to build on each other, there has to be a continuity, and there has to be a extensive and intensive growth, uh, which relates both to the subject matter, to the content we teach, uh, but also, you know, to the social uh, and emotional experiences the students have. And I think we have to have all of these dimensions in mind and then think, you know, how does that particular program link to other activities which the students had, to other situations they were in, so that there is, you know, this, the, these two principles of continuity and interaction both have to be present, no matter whether it's physical mobility or virtual mobility or blended. Our students and their voice is really part of this co-creation. But we're talking about and we take for granted resilience and we're taking for granted mental health, uh, well-being and strategies in place and students who can cope with uh, the type of educational experiences that would require them to spend uh, six months Warwick, uh, six months to begin uh, back at Warwick, uh, then back to begin and then go somewhere globally and so on. These are not the students I see in many times when I work with my students, when I work with students in other institutions, when I work with students in other institutions across the world. So there are issues that have been exacerbated that actually something like this would be detrimental. We would have students dropping out, we would have uh, Add, as adding onto the anxiety, as adding on, uh, on, on sort of conditions that are there. It takes time for our students to settle in and, and so on. So we often talk also having a sort of probably different generation of student in mind, which sometimes is makes me think, is it that we come together and we design and, and sort of the engagement with the student is not as deep as, as, as it should be? Because what does opportunity mean for whom is fundamental. Yeah, and can I just, when you say supportive structures, I, I think it's important to warn this is not psychological uh, support. I think if we look to the North America, they are, I just heard recently, more and more psychologists is that this, at the same time the degree of uh, not feeling well is increasing. So it's not providing each person with their own psychologist. On the contrary, it's meaningful engagement. From my point of view, I see the solution in uh, what I call semi-joint degrees. So instead of uh, really demanding a European degree with the very tight uh, integration between and so in the planned way that you have to spend, uh, I don't know, four semesters in uh, four different universities in order to get a European degree and finally you have this bureau I'm bureaucratic in a sense that uh, that we have been interviewing uh, the joint degree uh, program managers in our universities and also elsewhere and asking whether there is a benefit of this European degree and the general answer is that, that the university academics don't see the benefit, the students at least in Europe don't see the benefit and the employers don't see the benefit. The may, maybe the outside of Europe, Europe the, the students who are coming from uh, outside of Europe, they see the value of the European label on the degree. But, but instead of this kind of organization, which is very expensive, it's very, it can be done with a, with a very high quality and if it's supported with Erasmus Mundus money, it can be organized uh, with a high scholarships, very good students and the students who want to have this kind of and who are ready for that and whose mental health, <laughs> who are mentally happy of, uh, of moving from one uh, country to another and having, uh, who see this as an opportunity to, to also engage in the different labor markets and to see the different labor markets. But, but that's really, we see that it's a very, very limited number of students currently available.